much for joining us together with uh, Canonical and Ubuntu and all the great work you're doing on Risk Five. Tell me about the latest. Where are we at today in supporting uh, Risk Five? Well, that's interesting. Like I asked the people that are actually working on Risk Five inside Canonical, and they told me that we have 93% of everything that we do, like from a package uh, standpoint, that is actually already running on the RISC V. So our vision is really to treat RISC V as an equal citizen with other types of um, architecture that we have out there. Wow, that's fantastic. And you know, personally, I've been watching and, and working with Canonical for decades. So I know all the heavy lifting you do to bring the best and, and you know at parity across all the architectures, that's no small feat. So what about security? Like what are your views on canonical and security on risk five? So this is an interesting topic for us because obviously here we're at embedded world and embedded world is all about embedded software devices, those kind of things. Obviously what is the difference between the server world and the device world? Well these devices are going to go all over the place in the field. Uh, there's not necessarily going to be an engineer nearby. And uh, if there's any kind of security problems with them, then it may be weeks before you can actually remedy the situation. You, you may have something that went totally berserk out there because it got penetrated, for example. And now uh, it's a bad news for you. So, our customers have asked us to say, like, look, we need a solution for this. And the solution that we're providing is called Ubuntu Core, which is basically Linux for the extremely prudent people. You're talking about a OS that has been obviously downsized because it's embedded software, but also containerized around something we call Snaps. Yeah, we can do Docker as well, not a problem, and you know, uh, Azure and uh, AWS, no problem. But at its very core, uh, Ubuntu core, it's all about security. So we can have it uh, secure boot enabled. That's something that we're looking forward to do for RISC V as well. You want to boot an image, we need to verify whether what you're going to boot is actually properly signed. Uh, full disk encryption enabled. Uh, any operation that you have inside Ubuntu core needs to be authorized by you. So basically that snap can talk to another snap, you actually declare it. There's an easy way to do it in the YAML file. Uh, so, you know, like it takes care for the client of all of the nitty gritty detail behind the scenes, but it's always done with the perspective of, you need to ship something that is not going to become a paperweight because nobody likes that. The other thing, and um, it's maintenance because it may be secure today, but you know like me that, <laughs> You know, the hackers, they're, they're never sleeping. And Linux, it's millions of lines of code, literally. So could there be something that in the future, in three months, in six months, that will be discovered that suddenly makes your device vulnerable to an attack? Sure. So this is why Canonical, that's standing behind Ubuntu, Ubuntu Core, or Ubuntu Classic, is offering up to 10 years support. That includes RIS-5. So if you're a customer, you come to us and, for example, there's something that has been uh, detected uh, onto a CVE, then we go ahead, we fix it, and then by default, for Ubuntu Core at least, four times a day, it will call home and it will say, hey, do you have updates for me? And it will try to install that update for you. Now, just in case that somebody, like either the client or ourselves, made a mistake, like again, you don't want to have a paperweight out there, uh, it has an automatic rollback capability as well. So I'm sorry, I just keep on No, 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 this is great, this is great. And I can tell and feel the energy and passion behind your entire team that is making this uh, security possible. Oh, so thank, thank you. you. Yeah, no, absolutely. And you know what, for us, I can tell you within my team, like I'm, I'm doing field engineering IoT, right? And uh, people are extremely happy and enthused about anything rest five. So for example, as a proof of concept, we're sending RISC V to space with Ubuntu Core inside. I mean, uh, there's a project, I cannot talk too much about it, but it's happening, and that's some, something that all of my field engineers are... Uh, that's incredibly you know, exciting. They're just jumping on it now to, to get into RISC V thing. Thank you so much. Again, really appreciate this work. No problem, that's my pleasure. Thank you.